हेलो एवरीवन ओपन योर हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स बुक क्लास एट लेसन फाइव एजेंसीज ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस द मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस लेसन इज टू नो अबाउट स्पेशलाइज्ड एजेंसीज ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस एंड अर्लियर वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एफ द इंटरनेशनल लेबर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आई द वर्ल्ड हेल्थ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डब्ल्यू and the united nations children's fund that is unicef and today we will be discussing about the united nations development program that is undp and the united nations educational scientific and cultural organization that is unesco but before starting these two topics let us recall the cross question answers and the definitions related to the previous topics definitions organization agency epidemic sanitation environmental hygiene now answer these cross questions what is the full form of who unicef when was who formed where is the headquarters of the unicef tell any two functions of who what is the primary aim of unicef the topic of today is agencies of the united nations that means we are going to discuss page 168 of the book in which we are going to discuss the united nations development program that is undp and the united nations educational scientific and cultural organization that is unesco the objective of today's topic is we will learn about these agencies under the following headings headquarters when it was formed primary or main aim and its functions but before discussing all these points let us discuss the new terms related to today's topic new terms science the study and knowledge about the physical world and natural laws culture the customs ideas beliefs etc of a particular society or country heritage the traditions qualities and culture of a country that have existed for a long time and have great importance for the country universal education that means education for all law rules made by the government research a detailed and careful study of something to find out more information about it now all will open page 168 of the book the topic is the united nations development program that is undp this is a logo of undp undp is a combination in one fixed size relationship of the un emblem and letters un dp and the un dp logo is the keystone element of the identity program and should be used to represent the entire organization and these olive branches are the symbol of peace and the world map inside it represents all the people and the countries of the world before starting the reading of undp let us discuss the main points related to it the united nations development program that is undp headquarters the headquarters of undp is located in new york that is in united states of america when it was formed it was formed in 1965 primary or main aim of undp is to help people in leading better lives functions undp provides expert advice training and grant support to developing countries second it focuses on poverty reduction and social development third it also encourages the protection of human rights the united nations development program the undp is dedicated towards improving the lives of poor people it helps people lead better lives that means undp is the un global development network it advocates for change and connects countries to knowledge experiences and resources to help people build a better life for themselves it provides expert advice training and grants support to developing countries and increasing emphasis on assistance to the least developed countries it also promotes technical investment and cooperation among the nations it was founded in 1965 as a specialized agency its headquarters 
is in New York City, that is in United States of America. The UNDP operates in 177 countries. UNDP is funded entirely by voluntary contributions from UN member nations. The organization operates in 177 countries where it works with local governments to meet development challenges and develop local capacity. It works internationally to help countries achieve the sustainable development goals. To conclude, we can say that UNDP is a specialized agency of the United Nations which was formed in 1965 to help countries eliminate poverty and achieve sustainable human development. An approach to economic growth that emphasizes improving the quality of life of all citizens while conserving the environment and natural resources. The next specialized agency of the United Nations is the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, that is UNESCO. This is a logo of UNESCO and it represents the interdependence of the world's natural and cultural diversity. Now before starting the reading, let us discuss the main points related to UNESCO. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, that is UNESCO. Headquarters, the headquarters of UNESCO is located in Paris, that is in France. When it was formed, it was formed in 1945. Primary or main aim, to promote peace and security through education, science and culture. Functions, to help the member countries to preserve their cultural heritage. To work for the achievement of education for all and to promote basic research in the field of science. The United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization. The UNESCO's aim is to promote peace and security through education, science and culture. It was established in 1945. Its headquarters is in Paris. UNESCO seeks to build a culture of peace and inclusive knowledge societies through information and communication. And to that end, it pursues its objectives through five major areas. And these five major areas are education, natural sciences, social or human sciences, culture, and communication or information. It sponsors projects related to literacy, technical training, education, the advancement of science, promoting independent media and freedom of the press, preserving regional and cultural history, and promoting cultural diversity. Now let us read the functions of the UNESCO. Helping the member countries preserve their cultural heritage. Cultural heritage means the legacy of physical artifacts that is inherited from past generations. The cultural heritage includes traditional clothing, tools, buildings, artwork, monuments, etc. And earlier, the cultural heritage was threatened with destruction not only by the traditional causes of decay but also by changing the social and economic conditions. And seeing all this, the convention or the agreement concerning the protection of world cultural and natural heritage was adopted by the General Conference of UNESCO on November 16, 1972. And that agreement sets out the duties of the countries in identifying potential sites and their roles in protecting and preserving them. So by signing this agreement, each country pledges to conserve not only the world heritage sites situated on its territories, but also to protect its natural heritage. Working for the achievement of education for all. Education for all means universal education. And UNESCO is the only United Nations agency with the mandate to cover all aspects of education. And this agency focuses on increasing equity and assess improving quality and ensuring that education develops knowledge and skills in areas such as sustainable development, human rights, etc. UNESCO works with the governments and a wide range of partners to make education systems more effective through its policy change. And UNESCO also coordinates the Education for All movement, tracks education trends and raises the profile of educational needs on global development agendas. Strengthening the democracy, rule of law and respect for human rights in Africa. Human rights means the basic rights of everyone to be treated 
fairly. The UNESCO actively fights against the discrimination and for the defense of human rights and the protection of cultural heritage in Africa. It has adopted an integrated strategy to combat racism and discrimination and designated Africa as one of its global priorities. Promoting basic research in the field of science. Research means a detailed and careful study of something to find out more information about it. And the UNESCO plays the major role in promoting science and technology. It helps in establishing science and technology institutes in all parts of the world. It also arranges the conferences of scientists from all over the world. And it promotes the study of social sciences. All these agencies are doing a good job in their allocated areas. Allocated means given or allotted. However, much more work still needs to be done. The member countries should cooperate more in order to realize the objectives of these agencies. So, to conclude, we can say that these agencies are doing an immense good to mankind in such areas as economic development, human rights, international trade, care of refugees, education, agriculture, health, housing, child and mother care, etc. That means, overall these agencies are working within their own spheres for the betterment of the world. Now, I hope all the agencies of the United Nations are clear to you all. And your today's homework is to complete the chart of agencies of the United Nations in which you have to mention agency's name, headquarters, when it was formed, primary or main name and its functions.